Hey guys, this is Chris Calder with a tutorial on how to use Machine as a VST inside Reaper uh, without using Machine mode, actually using um, Machine's MIDI control mode, which I think is actually quite intuitive. And and with Reaper, it's like a great team. So, uh, you know, I'm just I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with like a million steps because I'm gonna give you guys three files to download, which are the Reaper uh, project file or the project template which you see right here um, and lastly I'm gonna give you guys a machine you know the machine project with all included samples and the only thing you might need to do is configure Reaper's actions up top like right here you know you got um, you know the question mark where it says show action list because you need to set a lot of actions so when you use when you use the machine hardware, you know you could use the transport buttons and everything, and you, you know you gotta you gotta let machine communicate with Reaper that way. So the actions list is a huge important step of this. It's not hard to configure either, as long as you have your MIDI ports you know configured properly. So, all right, without boring you guys to death, let's get started. Uh, I just want to show you guys how I have this configured. So I think the screen capture software is going to be quite slow, so I'm going to switch to uh, where it zooms in on a region and kind of follows the mouse, because I think the animation is a lot more smooth than when it's trying to capture a full screen image. So hang tight, let me switch videos here. Here's how my Reaper project looks, and I'll explain what, the, what each track is. Okay, so right up here we got track one, which is A. Track 2 is B, so on and so forth, all the way to track H. Obviously, for those who own machine, you guys are going to know that A through H is going to be the groups, okay? So, but here's the thing. With, with this workflow, you guys don't change the groups by pressing the buttons on machine. You don't press A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, the blue group buttons. You don't even, you don't even need to. Uh, what you do use, and I'm going to superimpose, uh, you know, a different video right now. Basically, as you can see, you got scene, pattern, pad mode, navigate, duplicate, select, solo, and mute. Those are going to be your group buttons, okay? As you can see, I put some tape next to it where it says A1, B2, C3, D4, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it says the track 1 is group A, track 2 is group B, so on and so forth. It just makes things so much easier, so don't mess with the groups. Just leave it on A, and you'll be fine. So basically, you know, we're just going to keep it really simple. And, you know, I'll just explain on, you know, how I do the rest of the tracks. All right, so in Reaper, and the, and the Reaper project you guys will download um, will have everything set, so you don't have to worry about this. Every time you select a track in Reaper, it's uh, it's going to automatically arm it for recording because that's one of the cool functions about Reaper. Like when you select a track, it, it can automatically arm it. Now I'm as you guys can see up here, I'm going to press uh, the scene button on machine, which is you know group A track one, and there it is. You know like track A is selected and it's also armed for recording, so it's pretty much ready to to record whatever I want. If I press pattern the the, the pattern button right below scene. Obviously, that's going to be, you know, group B, okay? See how it automatically selects it in machine? I mean, uh, in Reaper? Then I press pad mode, okay? That's group C. Bam, you know, it's ready to record. I press navigate. There it is, you know? So on and so forth. Duplicate is group E. Select is, is uh, group F. Solo is group G. Mute is group H. Just makes things really easy, all right? So... Um, now, like these three tracks right here, I just have loop, voice, because that's the track I'm recording to right now, and loop. So if, if I want to use a drum loop, I can. I mean, I don't have to worry about the time sh stretch uh, pitch shift function. You know, it's great that Machine added it, or it's great that Native Instruments added it in 1.8, but it's, you know, it, we, you don't need it if you use it as a VST, because you got Reaper's time stretch and, and uh, you know, looping, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, so, so basically, you got your, your eight tracks your eight groups and then you got you know however many tracks you want to use as as loop tracks you know i i have three well i got loop and it says voice but it's actually loop loop and loop and then underneath that um hang on i gotta scroll down hang on there we go um 
So, you know, underneath that, I got Poise, which is a really great VST for drum programming. It's so easy to layer stuff. And I, I want to make a video showing you guys how to use Poise to layer drums because it's a million times easier than Machine. I love Poise. I think it is totally worth the $50. If, if you guys, you know, dig on the MPC workflow, you know, like layering drums for hip hop and stuff like that, it's just amazing. You know, so I got Poise and blah, 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 Poise 1, 2, and 3. So that's basically, you know, 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's just a, a group in Reaper because uh, I have basically four instances of Poise and they kind of act like four banks of an MPC. It's like really smart and just easy. Um, and then below that, I have another loop track and then I have Vox and Vox again and then Machine Out, which is already set. You know, you don't even have to worry about that track. And then this last track is just, it's called Vox Mon Wet. It's basically just means if it's armed for recording, it gives me a, like a nice reverb, wet mix, like if I'm doing vocals or whatever. And, but it doesn't, it doesn't uh, record wet, it records dry, which is like a typical studio, you know, just like a reverb bus. So it's real easy. Um, Anyway, let's go back to the tracks up here. Obviously, we got, you know, track 1A, we got track 8, you know, H. Everything's labeled real simply. You know, I also color-coded the tracks, whatever, you know, so it's like rainbow. So it's just easy to, you know, it looks nice and it's easy to keep track of where you are. Here's what you got to do, though. This is These are the steps in Machine, which I know in my Reaper tutorial on the Reaper forum that a lot of people didn't really want to go through that. It was like too much to read, but you guys got to do it. You know, if you don't do it, uh, it's, you know, you're not going to get the most out of this workflow. So you got to go into actions, you know, and basically like, here's what I'll do. Like Cyrus says, find shortcut. I'm going to go find shortcut. I'm going to press uh, each of the buttons on machine, you know, scene, pattern, pad mode, all of my group buttons in MIDI mode. Okay. So if I press scene, uh, obviously it says right here, MIDI channel, blah, 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 you know, track, select track one. Okay. If I press pattern, well, whoops, find shortcut, bam, there it is. You know what I mean? If I find shortcut again, you know, press, you see what I'm saying? So I set it all up really well. And then the transport, uh, section of machine, basically, you know, if, if I press play the, the play button on machines, transport, you know, what does it say in Reaper? We got transport, play, and pause. So you press play to start it. You press play again. It pauses your, your track. So it's like so easy. And uh, what else? Oh, crap. I'm actually, I'm accidentally recording to track two. Oops. All right. So no big deal. Okay. It's, it's all good now. So, you know, so, so the machines transport, you know, with Reaper's with Reaper's actions, you can set machines transport to almost be like a Mackie control. You know what I mean? Like just like a whole hardware transport, the same way that you use machine in machine mode. So it makes things just really easy. So then if we'll do another find shortcut, I'll press the record button on machine, and you know it's the Reaper action transport record. Um, if I you know do erase, that's the undo button. I have machines erase. Uh, button to to work as an undo button in Reaper, which I think is, you know, smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then the shift button doesn't really do anything because you got to, that, that's how you change your templates. And if I select the grid button um, on machine, uh, you know, in Reaper, it's it says transport toggle repeat. So that, that gives you your, uh, you know, repeat on and off, like your loop on and off, like down here. Here you go. So basically I'm pressing grid and you can see toggle repeat. You know what I mean? I'm pressing... Uh, grid on machine and what else you know and then the restart button on machine uh, on machines transport that functions as basically rewind you know or if you would if you press w and reaper usually it, it rewinds back to the uh to, to the start of your project so it's just really easy to use and then if you want to get really deep into it which i already did for everybody the eight buttons on top of machine, uh, you know, basically the, the menu buttons when you're in machine mode, I have each of these buttons track select as well. So you don't have to use the vertical column of scene, pattern, pad mode, navigate. You can use the top horizontal buttons to be your track selects if you want. You could do that, you know what I mean? And then right here, if we find shortcut and, then, and I got the, you know, the eight rotaries on machine, obviously right below the LCD screen. Um, each of those is basically the volume of each track. You know what I'm saying? So basically like tracks one through eight or groups one through eight 
those rotaries are your volume, are your track volumes, which I think is just easy. You know what I mean? It's just, you don't even have to use machine, the, the regular mode of machine. Just use, use it in MIDI control mode, and you get the best of a million worlds. You got to go into Reaper's actions, and you got to set all that stuff. Now, if you load the control, if you load the machine control map that the file that I give you guys, all the MIDI CC numbers and everything are set. So all you got to do is just go into Reaper's actions, and then all you got to do is like see where it says add. So like you know, say you you find you know right here uh, set volume for track one. You select it, you click add, and then it says shortcut. Now all you got to do is turn rotary one, and it becomes that in Reaper, and it remembers it. Um, and then you know if you're looking, because I know there's like a million actions in Reaper. If you got to find something, go to track, you know like filter track, and then you could see, you know set track, set volume. You know, yada yada. If you look deep enough, you can find all the other, all the shortcuts that I already created for you guys. But they're probably not going to be created for you because your Reaper may not be customized to do all this stuff. But I think if I if I type track select, I forget select track. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right right here. So here's the Reaper actions for track select track one, which which is obviously essential. So all you got to do is go in there press add, you know, and then on machine, you press whatever you want to be each track or each group select. So it's quite easy. Now I know that this stuff might be a little confusing, but I think a lot of you guys who are deep into MIDI and deep into machine understand that it's kind of time consuming to get this started, but once you do it once, you never have to do it again. So, you know, it's it, it just makes things really easy. So basically, I'll just demonstrate how I do it and I'm gonna mute the mic and I'm gonna um I'm just gonna build a track just really quick. All right. So muting the mic. Uh, before hang on, before I mute the mic, I just want to explain what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select group A, which a drum kit is on, a, a machine drum kit. I'm just gonna tap out a beat real quick. I'm gonna do like a two bar beat in in Reaper and I'm gonna select the time you know time selection because Reaper's time selection just dragging the mouse across you know like your timeline is like the best thing ever for like just making loops and stuff I'll show you exactly how I do it